Hi, I'm Jesse Bacon, Superintendent of Bullitt County Public Schools, and thank you for watching this week's edition of the BCPSB. Today I'm visiting the Bullitt Advanced Math and Science Program, also known as BAMS, housed at the Riverview Opportunity Center. These students are partnering with First Build, GE Appliances, and Bernheim Forest to apply critical problem-solving skills in order to create solutions to real-world problems. They're using a human-centered design approach known in the business world as design thinking. Joining me today are Mike Ekbundit from GE Appliances, Chip Davidson, one of our BAMS instructors, and Olivia First, a student in the BAMS program. Mike, tell us a little bit about the partnership and the project that these students are working on. Well, this is our fifth year together. Um, so first of all, thank you for the opportunity for, to let me and G Appliances come in and work with the students. This is valuable for us as it is, I think, maybe more than the students are getting out of it. Um, so this is our fifth year. We started out with um, cardboard furniture. We did emergency shelters. So we've done cars, boats. Last year we did trebuchets. This year we decided to pull all the stops out and add a human element to the to the mix. So this year, the students will be designing permanent features for Bernheim Forest that help people with mobility issues. And the human element seems to have really, really helped us get over the hump. The students identified immediately with people in their families and in their lives that they're going to be helping. So. Normally we go through the product development cycle, one that we use at work, um, a little bit lighter version, right, because it's freshmen and sophomores, but we do the same processes and tools um, that we do at work and find ways to harness the creativity of the students. These are really bright minds um, with lots of potential. So we wanted just to come in and introduce application introduce real world just to see what happens this yeah. year we really this year we really stepped out there and decided to what would we do if nobody told us no what if we what would we do if if there were no obstacles and so we just started building in the summer um, we spent time together uh, planning like we do every summer what what can we do with the students um, and then when we identified the project we had to ask well what what support do the students need because we're tackling a very big problem um, that's very complex, has a lot of elements to it. So what do we need to do? What do we need to provide the students to help make that possible so that they can, so that they can successfully sol solve this problem? So we just made a list and started, started down. We've got mechanical engineers on board. We have electrical engineers on board. We have First Build offering us an opportunity to do a full-blown hackathon. They're actually shutting down for the day for us to come in and develop these ideas with professional makers and builders in a creative space. We have industrial designers that will help us with our appearance requirements. We have the VA hospital helping us out by providing insight into what it means to be physically disabled and they're also bringing disabled veterans who are going to come and be the voice of the customer for us. We reached out to Onshape Software, one of the top CAD modeling softwares in the world, and they were overjoyed to help us out. So now we have 50 licenses for all the students to be able to use professional grade software and open up the collaboration that's gonna happen between the students, G Appliances, First Build, and all the people that are involved. So we're completely changing the game and trying to make it the most immersive and inclusive problem-solving exercise that, that, that we could come up with. Such an amazing opportunity. Chip, talk to us a little bit about how you integrate essential curriculum into the activities and tasks that you're asked your students to do. Sure, so so first of all, you know, when the students come here to the Bullet Advanced Math and Science program, we teach them literally everything from, you know, from their English instruction to their math instruction to their science instruction. So um, in addition to all of that, um, we, we don't just simply want to stop at the textbook and, and just talk about things on an academic level. So, you know, especially with NGSS standards that are looking at trying to bring uh, that curriculum into sort of real life connections and cross-cutting uh, cross uh, curriculum, uh, we, we were 
overjoyed to be able to partner with GE and, and uh, our other partners, Bernheim, um, but particularly with GE in terms of the engineering part of this. So this was a fantastic way for us to basically take our curriculum and put it to use. So, uh, I mean, you talk about a, an application of NGSS, there, there couldn't be a better one than allowing the students to be able to do something real world with uh, an actual company and solve an actual problem. So uh, this has really afforded us the opportunity to do that and basically make the engineering you know, uh, process uh, tangible to the students. Uh, and again, starting all the way back from when we were building cardboard chairs, like what Mr. Edmund was talking about, all the way up to today, where now we've sort of gone from sort of conceptual ideas of, of building something that maybe you know only us would use to now things that can actually make a positive impact on people's lives. And so being able to use that process to make a product to positively affect people um, is, to me, a dream come true. And I, I think in terms of the effectiveness of education, sort of what we, we hope to do in the future, I, I think we're on the cutting edge right here. So uh, in all those ways, it's been a fantastic partnership, and I'm looking forward to seeing what our students produce this year. Awesome, awesome. Olivia, can you tell our folks out there, how does this experience differ from the traditional classroom setting? Well, in VAMS, we have a lot of um, hands-on work, so we get to put the, we get to really develop the ideas that are in our heads, and um, we get to help others and use what's in our, like we have a lot of creative freedom, so we can help those and further, really further our education. So does it help you to get your hands in there and actually work yes. with things? Mm -hmm. It really helps us develop our ideas. Great. As you can tell, there are a lot of innovation and creative learning happening here at BAMS. I invite each of you to come out and check it out for yourself. Can't wait to see how this partnership and project develops over the course of the school year. We hope that you've enjoyed this edition of the BCPSB. I hope you'll join us next time as we talk more about how BCPS is moving forward.